there y'all i'm just enjoying this saturday night and i want to have a little quick little video a quick little chat with you all today so yes i want to talk to you all about the importance of you believing in yourself and not letting others get to you especially when it comes down to the people that you know or your life or your family because i realized that there's certain people in your family it's not going to matter when it comes down to how they view you if they've been viewing you from a certain mindset that's not going to change no matter what you show them no matter what kind of improvement that you're going to put in your life it's not going to change their outlook on you so what you have to do is just realize that okay even though this person you love you know this person you know all your life you have to just not take things personally that's what even though it's easier said than done but it is just so so real otherwise they would drive you crazy they come down to how they view things that you should do it their way and one thing that i have realized which especially in my business this is one of the biggest challenges is a lot of people only respect what they do and then or they respect only what they know and they don't respect what other people know and what other people do unfortunately that's how it is with a lot of people and that's the biggest challenge they just respect what they do and they just respect what they know um i was uh thinking about this the other day but uh, i know that i was talking to one of my uh clients and she was telling me about somebody in her family and this is one thing that i noticed though like how um, you see this a lot so she was telling me about how um she had this one sister and her one sister had a shop and then her one sister had young girls working in the shop. And then um, she used to hate on the young girls working in the shop, even though the, the young girls in the shop was paying her booth rent. Let me give you an example. So um, she was doing the old fashioned way of doing the hair, you know, like the Madam CJ Walker way where you just using a high comb and that's cool. You know but yeah and then that's one thing that uh that people don't really really think about or realize is you have to adapt to the time so meaning so she was doing the old school way of doing the hair when it come down to using a high comb and then the young girls was doing the micro race they was doing the lace fronts so instead of her being happy that these young girls are in her shop paying her money she was jealous of the young girls doing their thing instead of her being the older woman with the wisdom she should have been just happy that these women are working in her shop and, and, and working hard and paying her money so this you have to understand it okay the life and, and the game is going to keep evolving so that's one thing that i was thinking about though i'll think about like how when i get older even 50 60 70 I'm going to always make sure that I keep up with the times and then I'm not going to just, you know, just look at young people and always trying to sun them or talk uh, or talk to them in like a fatherly manner. I'm going to just keep up with the time and I'm going to keep up with technology. And then, yeah, okay, so and then just, just like an example that I'm talking about though, those young girls that they was working in the shop doing the micro braids and, and doing uh, the uh, lace fronts, this is their time. So this is their time, so they're doing they're doing the, the new stuff, you know, all the old stuff, with like the like using a hot comb, doing that stuff. I mean, yeah, people aren't doing that no more. You know, just, just technology finna keep getting more advanced and keep getting more advanced, and that's why you have to keep up with it. But the main thing that I was saying was, it's gonna be a lot of that though it's like a lot of just people that they only respect what they know and then their skills and then they don't respect what other people know or even younger people and what they know so you just have to be mindful of that so when a person reaches a certain age that's who they are so it's not going to change they're not going to change their outlook on things so really the only thing you really can do is you can just limit your time with them or just don't deal with them at all so you have to decide which option and which way do you want to deal with them better so it is tough when it comes down to people that you know are your life but yeah just especially when it comes down to you wanting to get to the next level 
and and then yeah it just said you're gonna have to protect your peace no matter what even if it is somebody that's close in your family so that's why now one thing that i realized that now that i gotten better at doing is for the most part now i don't even tell people the things that i have going on or the things that that i'm trying to get off of off of the ground i might just tell with just mainly my moms but for the most part i i have developed a habit of me just keeping those things to myself until everything happens because one thing that's good about it is by you keeping it to yourself if things don't work out you don't have to have to worry about people saying this about it or talking about you because you just kept it to yourself so that's one thing that i wanted you know to tell you that yeah you just have to just accept what it is and then really nobody nobody is going to really really want you to make it and really really want you to succeed unless they're going to benefit from it for the most part that's like the hardest reality that i realized but that's just what it is people are only concerned with themselves and what they know unless you got some rotted eye people who really really love you and really really care but for the most part it's not like that people are only concerned with themselves and then they're going to see you and view you a certain kind of way no matter what especially that's one of the reasons that i was thinking about this though because lately i've been um i've been into proverbs a lot i've been reading a lot listen to it a lot and i see why i see why jesus didn't perform miracles in his hometown because people was looking at him like that's just jesus oh that's jesus so he just said the people that knows you the longest their view on you is not going to change no matter what unless something dramatically happened but for the most part it's like i, I think about when it comes down to my business the people that know me the longest that know me the 20 years 10 years they don't support my business they they never have so but that's just how it is and i just learned to accept it so god will put a stranger a stranger in your life and this stranger will go and bless your business and and this is how you really can tell if somebody is really really rooting for you if somebody is really 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 rooting for you and want to see you win they're going to go and try to help you or, or just try to provide some type of opportunity or they're going to just try to want to go and support you to help you better but what you have to go and watch out for this is one thing that i realized a long time ago especially when it comes down to certain people that you know a long time ago especially even your family so like uh there's certain people in my family which i know the truth about them a long time ago but one one of the of the, of the main things and one of the main reasons why they don't want to help you with anything is because they they're constantly comparing you back to how they was back when they was your age even though times is different things things is different they keep saying well back when i was at your age i had this i had that so so a person that has that type of mindset they're not going to never help you or not going to give you no type of special kind of guidance that's going to put money in your hand or just help you get to the next level because they're constantly comparing you to back back to how they was back at your age so they're not going to give you no game that's going to really really help you change your life and, and, and get your finances in order or get to the next level no because they want to just keep comparing you back to how they was back when you was uh no, back when they was your age so, but yeah, but if a person really, really, really fuck with you, seriously, they're going to go and want to help you in some kind of way. They come down to just wanting to support you, wanting to just help you any kind of way, want to help you, you know, get to the next level. Not just somebody just giving you some type of BS or just, I say, just uh, relationship advice. I mean, that's whatever, I think, you know, but if a person really, really want to help you, they're going to give you some ideas and help you get to the next level when it comes down to you improving your life with your finances or some type of opportunity or support you they, they're going to do one of the three if a person that is not doing that that's really how you can tell right away that the person don't like you and they don't want to see you succeed so all right y'all so that's just uh my two cents on that so i want you all to be safe and i want you all to think about that though and remember you cannot change people's viewpoints on you especially people that known you a long time ago i got people I got people in my life now that I'm closest to them, you know, um, than my actual family. Because, yeah, because they always wanted to just, in, in some kind of way, they want to help me. And even though I help them too, but just, uh, you could just tell. And I've been just, I see it clear as day. God will put strangers 
in your life and this stranger will want to help you and see you succeed more than the people who know you your whole life so that's just how it is so all right y'all i know that i ran it a little bit but i really really wanted to share that message and i want you all to just remember nobody is going to support you like yourself you was there you you're the one that been through everything so i want you all to just give credit to yourself and i want you all to work on still being patient with yourself you're going through the fire, and then when you come out this fire, you're going to be like gold. I see you all. Like, share, and subscribe. And I see you all next time.